So I wanted to make a video on steak bars today. It's uh, the end of the season. A lot of people are gonna be getting into this business uh, come next summer. And I just wanted to teach you a lesson that I learned the hard way. Basically when I first started, I was broke. So I just bought one steak per pole, two on the corners, you know, one going one way, one another. And I found that I had to go back to the job site a lot and fix steaks that might've came out because of wind or whatever the night before. So if the job was an hour away, I spent two hours of my day having to go out and just fix a few stakes. And I had one tent come halfway down because it was kind of near a pond and the soil was loose. And it was just always a nightmare. If there was a rainstorm and windstorm, I'd be nervous all night long, just waiting for a phone call. Uh, so then I went up to using what they call double yoke ratchets, where it's got the one point the one ratchet that hooks to the tent and at the bottom I, ha I had two holes for stakes and life was a little bit better but then uh some things would still happen so i just took the dive and went into steak bars the thing that helped was i was at a auction for a tent company and i got like 30 steak bars for a dollar a piece they're normally anywhere from 20 to 30 dollars a piece so i did make a video on these before but i just want to retouch this is a steak bar it turns one steak into three. Once I started using these, I don't have any problems anymore. No stakes come loose, uh, no tents I have to go back to and drive to and fix. Uh, this one has three. This is good enough for most installs. I use them all on the corners and everywhere where the center pole is, the, the middles of the tent. Uh, and it just makes everything so much stronger. Now, the thing with these is when you use a ratchet, the ratchet has to go underneath, then the stake, middle stake goes through it, and then the other stakes go to the side. Now, if you just put this on the ground, put all your three stakes in, and then attached a ratchet to the top of the middle stake, it's not doing anything. It's still only one stake. It's, your ratchet is only attached to this middle stake. It's not a three stake bar thing. It has to be under it and then the three stakes make it a whole unit. Uh, my name is Ethan. I work for Tent Guy there. So the stake bars, here you put the, the ratchet underneath it so that if you pull them, it pulls all the stakes up and not just one. If you were to put it here on top, it would just pull the one stake and these would be pointless. Now, I'm going to be doing a tent on a piece of property all summer, not this summer, but next summer was when we're gonna buy the tent. I'm gonna use those on every single pole and on the corners, I'm gonna use the six stakes uh, and even maybe do three ratchets like in this picture right here. But uh, there's many different styles. I've seen stick bars with two, which I don't really understand that. Three makes more sense and then six and then some of them that are like uh, square tubes and some of them which are just flat pieces with holes in it. I like the square tubes better. I think it's stronger um, than the, the flat ones, but I'm sure the flat ones are just fine. So in the winter when we're not using them, I just use a milk crate, put them in there and they're stored nice and easy. In the summer, we just put, I think about eight of them on a stake and then we can carry those eight around. You just put, just put the middle th hole through the stake, or put the stake through the middle hole, and then do that with about eight, eight of them, and then you can carry it around easy. Uh, and then that's, then we just store them over there on the stake. The stake bars, they are going to be a big investment. Once you start buying a bunch of them, it starts getting expensive, and they're heavy, so shipping is going to be a lot. But you have to think in the long run, it's going to save you money because you're saving time. You don't have to go out and fix something. You don't have to be worried about your $20,000 tent coming down in a minor storm. Steak bars are the way to go. If you can afford it, go ahead and get steak bars. Thanks for watching.